gentlemen, welcome to the show. <laughs> Tim Morris Kiria, welcome to the show. <laughs> Tim Calvin, the entertainer, welcome to the show. Whoa! More like it, more like it, more like it. We're back once again in full effect to serve you nothing but vibes on Horizon Vibe. Today's edition is dedicated to all the holiday makers. So if you are, you know, lounging, chilling at home, watching us, but hey, I also understand some of you are in the building, rocking with us. If you're one of those men, big upon yourself, we do say, there is no vibe like, there is no vibe like, now listen, to be part of the show, to be part of our next uh, edition, it's quite simple. I think starting next week, you'll be able to visit my website, www.calvintheentertainer.com uh, to get, uh, you know, to basically, uh, to get, you know, to get to, get to be part of the show. But of course, uh, also my email, calvin at entertainer.ug for the music and anything matters entertainment, okay? It's been a fantastic week, but uh, we're starting off with some birthday shout outs from within and out there. A number of our babies who were born this week. I'll start off with, uh, okay, okay, Martha. Yes, there's a Martha here. She is a viber. I'm talking to you. Huh? Woo Happy woo birthday. Yeah. She's right there on the TV screen, but also she's here in person. Uh, how old are you, Tani? Ah, eh, 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 eh. She just touched her head. It's like Calvin. Uh, take it easy. But happy birthday. Uh, moving on, fast forward. Gills Collins. Gills Collins has been uh, one of those ardent, true uh, vibers. I think he's been part of the Horizon Vibe movement for about 10 years. Yeah? So happy, happy, happy birthday. Uh, Gills Collins, at one point, he was one of. Uh, uh, you know, my trainees, you know, he was, he's a student of journalism and communication. Actually, he actually graduated. Uh, now he works with Baboon Forest Entertainment. Uh, happy, happy birthday, Gills Collins. Let's move on. Fast forward. Uh, there's a baby girl here, Cynthia Bay. Uh, happy, happy, happy birthday, uh, Cynthia Bay right there, celebrating uh, her birthday. I think at uh, 22 years of age. Let's move on. Let's move on. Fast forward. There is Havon, baby. Yes. Havon is actually also in the building right there. Today is her day. But you can also see her on TV. I don't know. How old are you turning Havon, baby? Huh? Ladies are like, ah, don't disturb us. Don't disturb us. <laughs> All right. Fast forward. Fast forward. Gaga Mel Boss. And of course, this is one brother. Uh, he's a good guy, man. He's a good guy. Uh, for those of you who've been uh, close to Piebe Cool, uh, you'll understand that he's one of those real ones. One of those real ones. Piebe Cool, big size. Nalabia Muso Ganga Gamanti. A Bebe Cool, a Yom Kuba Yimbi, Uganda, Balua Nisizen Yaga. No, no Kufu and Yaga. You know, openly. You know, uh, I, I think you should actually also open a foundation. Gerwani San Yago, rehab something of sort, offering counseling services, you know. He's one of those artists who is 24 7 sober. A baby cool news of comparing a community, Eddie Kenzo. When it comes to artists who are 24 7 sober, another one is Maurice Curia. 24 7 sober. If he's booked for any interview, he will be here on the dot. You understand? So happy, happy, happy birthday, a baby cool. Uh, you're not just an artist, but I think you've uh, made uh, a pivotal role to the entertainment industry at large. Going to eat a Mr. Showbiz. Okay, happy birthday. I also understand today is King Saha's birthday. Yes, King's love. Happy birthday, uh, King Saha, right there. Um, Sajia Gwenzo Garment, he has hustled his way from grass to grass. He uh, the Toke Mundongo. Uh, and uh, he's actually, yes, don't say that you are going to never must go on your own to bat men. You know, happy birthday, uh, King Saha. And that's a wrap for us, a birthday shout out, a consent. Let's now move on, fast forward into our progi, the events calendar. I do understand a number of events are happening today, uh, starting with the uh, Okwepi Cha. That is by Gravity Omtuju. Uh, he's going to be head headlining or holding his uh, uh, event that is at Glugogo Cricket Oval. This will be like, I think, the seventh time he's uh, rocking Cricket Oval. 
Yeah. Era gamba yalo wasanti yadistiki yo muimbi wa mani ya cricket oval. Era gamba if you've never held an event at cricket oval uh, for more than five plus years. So this tonight is going to basically be proving that yes, he's still a giant far as music is concerned. Still tonight, our uh, brother Navio. Navio will be celebrating 20 years of music. He's been a major key far as UG hip hop is concerned. Last week, Navio, He's the symbol of hip hop in Uganda. So tonight, come through in big numbers and be part of Navio's concert. Okay? I also understand that there is a, uh, there's a dance event that is uh, taking place today. Uh, that is Steps of Africa. Yes, happening today, this very day, at uh, and, uh, it will actually Lugogo Hockey Grounds. So, gravity again about Bawali Cricket Oval, but also at Hockey Grounds. The gates have already opened for this particular one, and uh, it's featuring uh, Wakiso Dancers, Dream Hudson, uh, The Nation Infinity, Ghetto Kids, Fire Casters, Smash Talent, uh, Chantel from uh, Kenya, Spice Diana, Maxim, uh, Salvador, and Teacher and Pamile. So, uh, go and uh, be part of uh, that as well. First of all, again, let's proceed now. Still about events. Alive in the Park is also happening today. Uh, Pompey is going to be the headlining artist for this particular event. And uh, the gates are already open. It's going on up to 1, up to 10 p.m. Entrance 10k, 15k, 20k, uh, 50k for VIP and 100k for VVIP. Okay? Here's the question I'm asking today far as our video trivia is concerned. Okay? If you can mention three other songs, give me that same song, uh, Ivan, that you played earlier on. If you can, if you can, give me three other songs, all right, by Bayan, and three other songs by Jason Deluro. Today we are doing it major, okay? You'll be able to win yourself a VIP ticket, that is to Navio's concert. You'll be able to win yourself a meal for two courtesy of a heavy chicken but not only that uh we, we could choose to give you a vip for alive in the back of pompey so you you, are, you have some choices to make yeah we, we, we're doing it real big today on horizon vibe so later on later on in the show uh, you'll be able to crack that now you is watching us from home you can equally get involved get involved now today we are also having a poll question away from that away from that we're having a poll question is it healthy competition when musicians stack shows on the same debt because it, it seems to be the new trend right now. I already shared that on my handle. And of course, uh, the poll is still going on. Uh, so far, those who are saying yes, uh, 42. Those who are saying that it's not a healthy competition, 46. And those who are not sure, it is uh, 12%. That is as of uh, 8, uh, 30 when I posted uh, this uh, uh, particular quick poll. So you can also get to engage. I uh, shall be sampling later on as the show still goes on. Now moving on, fast forward into some more of the entertainment news. 50 Cent? Yes? All is not well with 50 Cent. There's another new trend of artists throwing microphones to, to uh, fans. You know? But according to uh, reports coming in, 50 Cent could be looking at uh, battery charges in relation to his uh, recent mic throwing incident that left one woman with a blooded uh, gash on her forehead. According to TMZ, uh, that's the video right there, good stuff, Hanifa. Uh, the woman who was hit uh, is a, a radio presenter with uh, uh, with a power 100.6. This is a, a radio station, I guess, that side. Now, law enforcement sources told that TMZ that they believe so. 50 cent uh, they believe that 50 cent threw the mic at uh, uh, his crew in, pro in the production area unfortunately it, it ended up hitting uh, a victim now of course uh, this radio presenter reportedly told police 
that 50 Cent looked directly at her before throwing the microphone. So she believes the rapper knew she was there. That is the radio presenter right there uh, with the, you know, uh, w you know, with the bloody nose. Of course, uh, 50 Cent's lawyer, the one Scott Lemon, told uh, TMZ that, uh, let's be very clear. As I told the police, 50 Cent would never intentionally strike anyone with a microphone. Anyone saying something different doesn't have all the facts and is misinformed, you know? So, that is, uh, you saw the video. In uh, the video, of course, a series of uh, uh, photos uh, captured. Uh, uh, they show this, uh, you know, uh, you know, 50 Cent was seemingly agitated and uh, uh, disturbed due to the technical dif difficulties uh, they seem to be, exp they were experiencing and, uh, you know, during that period, he loses his school or temper and throws a microphone, hitting a radio personality. This radio personality is uh, a swing 50 cent. Uh, so, yeah, this matter is likely to end up in court and is likely to pay. Okay? That's your 411. Do we have anything else from the Vibers in one minute before we delve into something else? I understand that Christian Homily has an event that is happening at Insambia tomorrow. I believe you guys have already gotten yourself some tickets. The entrance is a 7K, yes, right? Yes. And uh, the other group pays how much? 5K. Five, 5K yeah. and 7K. Listen, guys, I am calling you out to come through and support our boy Christian Homily. That is this Sunday. There will be lots of performances. A good number of artists will be entertaining you. If time allows, I might also be there, but come through and support Christian Homily right tomorrow, there. Show tomorrow, some love. Tomorrow. Now tomorrow. listen. Thank you. And listen real good. Muso Galuakasembayo. Hey, let's get that microphone moving. Let's, let's get that microphone moving in 30 seconds. Then we get to wrap up our entertainment news. Uh, what else? Uh, David Irutalo yeah, uh, that, yeah. hold a press conference for uh, uh, Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, passport, Mark Indie, yeah. uh, Mr. Semakula was there, Spicy Dan, and many other stars. Alangi uh, officially, Chibulu Church, Gendo Kube, Raku Cricket Ovo, Echana Longo. Na ye, ahu njini tuwasofo doku wafinga kwa interview ni Spice Diana. Na tu gamba nti, hawa imbi hawa genda mubato. Beba imbi hawa tekiri lizamu. Eda na yungi lakona gamba nti, she's too big. Uh, tuke, to engage herself in uh, main and main battles. That was Spice that Diana. Uh, that was Spice So Diana. we again throw the question to the Vibers. <laughs> eh, Do you eh, think Spice Diana is that big enough that she cannot battle anyone? Or... Yeah. She is simply chickening out. She's big enough. She's big enough. Wanji? She's not big enough. Taina Chaba Gamba. Uh huh. No, she's not big enough. What? So, so, <laughs> Tim Jasmine, they're saying it's only Lydia Jasmine who can shut, shut up. Spice, spice down on a musical battle. All right, we wait. Those were her thoughts. Select a day, man. We're going to be getting into another session of about three minutes. When we come, oh, we're going straight into Morris Curia. Morris Curia straight away. Niceness, niceness, niceness. So Vibers in the building. Everybody stay on your feet. Show some love as we welcome the sensational, the one and only King of Moyo, King of Soul, King of R&B, and that is Morris Show some love. Let's go. Let's go. Sing. Sing. Jagala wo bango jagala. Jagala ngambo jagala. Jagala bala lo basule walala. Jagalo bagambe nti ni wabuwa. Ni wabuwa. And everybody sing. Do you want? 
into this uh, interview at this moment. Maurice, welcome to the show. Thank you. It's good to be here. It's exciting to have you here. Mm. This is the second time you're appearing on the live audience edition. Yeah, I think so. How is the mood? How is the mood? I love it. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> nice. I was telling these guys, he's one of the greatest, he's one of the greatest uh, soulful singers, R&B singers. I've seen you perform at Serena a couple of times, and I would say this, not that I'm your friend, but as your fan, the last time I paid for my ticket and I got value for my money. Good. <laughs> yes, and I already paid for my ticket for the upcoming event. So if you've not yet paid for yours, we don't know what you're still waiting for. Thank you. Has anyone been to my shows, anyone? Anyone know? Well, I, I think today we might give away two lucky wow. winners. Wow, wow, right? wow, 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 wow. Now, Maurice, um, it's been a minute. I think you last came here about eight months ago. Uh, you've been, uh, you know, uh, in and out of the country, pushing the music, but also, you know, going about to other business. How has it been for you as a star, crisscrossing from one country to another, but also pushing the music? Uh, it's hard work but I love it. Uh, I mean, I was telling someone recently that I'm very lucky to be uh, doing a business that I love. If it wasn't my work, I still would have enjoyed singing for people anyway. So yeah. traveling the world and, and representing my country as a Ugandan and doing the thing I love the most, it's, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. Um, you've been, I've been following your music, you know, from way back. The Nates used to host at uh, Rouge. Right. Uh, the Maurice Curia experience, my favorite song by Maurice, I have a couple of them, but uh, there is a revolution is my favorite. Uh, then, uh, oh well, I'm spoiled between revolution and Bela, Bela Nawe, you know, and then there is uh, also uh, Never Been Loved Before, you know, uh, there is Umbelembe uh, Guachilia, which is classic, you have a, a good number of classics. Thank you. And for me, I wonder, do you write this music yourself? You're not one of those musicians who releases music every now and then. Uh, I've seen more of uh, complete albums by you, Book of Kyria, and a couple of others, uh, more you, and a couple of others that you've released over the time. Uh, as a writer and as a singer, what goes through your mind when you are putting different albums, different projects together? Um, I would say... Um Every album kind of represents where I am in my life at the moment. Uh, and that's why you see some albums are very vibrant and other albums are a bit so mellow. So it always depends on what I've been inspired by in that particular uh, year. And um, there is albums and there is singles. The singles is where I go free and it doesn't have to be a body of work dedicated to a particular emotion. Yeah. If there was one person whom you would want to, who you would wish to redo any of your songs Who here in Uganda here in Uganda someone to redo to redo you? one of your songs oh that's a hard one um okay uh, are we basing it on his voice or his 
What are we basing it on? Vocal ability. Vocal ability. Someone who you think can do justice to your song. Because you are, you know, you. There is a guy. A, a there is a guy. I think yeah. his name uh, is Pages. 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 He's. Um, I saw him in some competition. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know, but he plays in a band. Yeah. And I have to. I, I don't want to butcher the name of the band, but yeah. I believe it's Abeka. Yeah. Yeah. And. Um, I think he could really imitate, he could fool me for thinking it's me singing. Yeah. So he's, he's really good and he's a good guy. Too. He's a good guy. Yeah. About your singing abilities, uh, uh, try to make us understand, you know, uh, the life of a singer like you, guy with a high vocal, octave vocal range. Uh, how often do you practice or oh, it's something that, uh, you know, uh, you just wake up and uh, you're like, okay, now let's go. You know, I've been booked to perform here. And, uh, Actually, know, no one has go. ever asked me that. I meet so many young musicians and they want to find out what we do. And being a singer, if it's your work and it's what you do. Have you seen footballers when they're trying to do drills but they don't have a ball? Yeah. That's exactly what we do. If I'm home, there's particular exercises we could do for the voice. But the thing is, they sound like we've lost our minds because they are repetitive. No, cheat damu, no, cheat damu. We say no, we don't go cheat damu. Yeah. Uh, and we do these things for for a long time, just so the voice gets used to a certain exercise. So when I get on stage, I don't have to think about that thing. Mm, mm. Just like a football on Peter we good ya. That's what Kakuevu is ahead and you can't hear. Yeah. Already I've done that for a while. Yeah. So that's what we do. So people think you just go on stage and, and you're super talented. No. You watch what you eat. You watch what time you sleep. You do your vocal exercises every day. And right before the show, what people don't know that when you're backstage, people think you're chilling in the lounge. But so that what you hear for stage, your voice is warm. So that's a side of uh, singing that people don't know. And it's quite... Uh, taxing as well. Yeah, let's talk about personal branding and brand involvement. You know, if that makes sense. At one point, I saw you with the dreadlocks. At one point, you're having an afro. At one point, you went bold. Yeah. Uh, what does that mean to your personal brand? Two. You have you're a generational singer. You have people. Uh, I th I th I th you have people who used to follow you when they were in primary. Right. You have both were in uh, high dear. school. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Those who are at the university right. now, those are different generations, and I think I'm in the same situation. You know, you have those who used to follow me when they're in primary, secondary, university, right. and now they are some are the corporates giving us business. Mm. How, how 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 have you been able to evolve as a brand uh, to basically be able to fit into the demand, the generational demands, uh, and uh, the ever changing. Uh, Environment, uh, environment, environment of music, yeah. yeah. I think some of the gifts that I've had is I come from a very musical family. All my brothers, Vampino, Saba Saba, I had a lot to learn from, from these guys. And when I came up as an artist, we didn't have internet. And you were lucky to end up in the newspapers. You were lucky to be on any TikTok. We didn't have any of the things you have right now. So we learned to survive in an industry that was very rough. So when all these things came, we had already learned how to survive without anything. Does this make sense? So as an artist today, when they come up, they have to depend on the social media and everything. We had to grow up in a time where we had nothing, but you really hope you do the best song and you hope you get out there and you hope people actually find out about you. So that's one of the, uh, the things that has helped, that we know how to navigate even without the need of the new technology. Uh, the other thing is that as an artist, you have to know how to evolve. You have to know to catch So I keep trying to grow myself, to grow my art, to grow myself as a person, to grow my genre. So that's why when you listen to an album, it will not be the same as the last album. Every album keeps changing because as a person, you change. Around the world, when you travel, you learn that, oh, but then Yimba went, but I could actually try this. I could learn this instrument. I could try to change my voice to this. So, and that is very important for an artist to know when to move from one step to another. Now, the mistake that some artists make, if they have an audience that really, really likes them, but sometimes audience, you're ready to call it. So meaning, 
the artist stays right there, and to a point they become boring because they're depending on their audience that's making noise, but they're not growing. And that's why you've seen many artists be a hit for so long, and then they drop in one night and no one will ever want to hear them again. So how can an artist manage hype? Because, I mean, there's this hype which has as a result of uh, these social media platforms right. uh, where some proudly and comfortably tell you that mean what I do is bubblegum music. I'll be releasing a song after every 24 hours. Yeah. I've interviewed some of them on this yeah. very couch. Yeah. I think there's nothing wrong with an artist wanting to do that. I think an artist should have the freedom to be exactly whatever they want. If you want to be a hit maker, be a hit maker. If you want your music to, to last one week, two weeks, then you put out an, another song, that's okay. That's your art and that's how you want to be s perceived. And that's totally fine. I just think it's very important for an artist to be intentional so that you're not just following a trend and hype because I want to be like likes ninji, or trending. You just have to be intentional. Just for two months, that's up to you. If you're like me, who wants to live forever <laughs> through my music, that's also okay. So I think there are no rules on that. You are a ladies magnet. I've seen you on stage. Sometimes ladies holding placards. Ah, he's my guy. Others holding placards like, come and get me. You know, H how do you manage? How have you been able to manage this, uh, uh, this attention? But most importantly, many people who become stars, they, they, some become stars by accident. They didn't see it coming. And uh, you see them, you know, crashing maybe in one or two or three years. There is no book that I've seen published by any local publisher on how musicians can manage stardom or fame. Give these people some tips on how you've been able to manage your brand and fame over the years. Yeah, I think uh, my brother is in the house to, today and yesterday we were walking the streets uh, where I live and he's like, and I told him, Saba, I've been doing this for so long that when they're looking at me, I think it's normal now that if I look in a restaurant and everyone is looking at me eat my food, I don't go, why are you looking at me? I expect it. Yeah. It's become part of what we do. Uh, but the most important thing is I remember who I am. Uh, when I'm in public, I am not Maurice Kiria, the celebrity, the artist. I'm just a guy. Yeah. And that's why you, anyone who has found me anywhere, they tell you, you found Maurice Ngari downtown, over against the Mukasmo restaurant, over Tambula Kukuba, Kola Jogging. I think most of you have seen me running on the streets because I don't see myself like that. Only when I'm on stage is when I say, ah, <coughs> I'm a star, let's do this. Oh, yeah. But when I'm off stage, I'm just a normal guy trying to have a normal life. So I was walking the streets and I just remember where I came from. And I remember that yes, people like what you do, they appreciate you, but don't let it get to you to a point that you forget to enjoy the simple things of life. Very important. So <laughs> yeah, you know? <laughs> nice. So how do you manage this? Come and get me. I'm imagining how your DM situation is, but uh, on events I always see girls, you yeah. know. <laughs> Maurice, you know. <laughs> when, I, when I was younger, I, I, it, it used to excite me when girls, you know, write to you or they come on the streets and they hug you. And now that I'm older, it still excites me. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Let's proceed. Let's proceed. And now talk about uh, something different before we talk about the event itself. Right. There is a new trend in Kampala where musicians are holding events on the same day. We post the question on uh, our social media platforms and uh, yes, this uh, poll is uh, gaining ground, you know, is gaining uh, momentum. People are reacting and responding on, uh, you know, sharing their thoughts. I'll read it uh, verbatim. Uh, is it healthy competition when musicians stage shows on the same day? Uh, my answer to that is, uh, do you know anyone that has the same birth date as yours? Yeah. That's my answer. It's uh, We have the same days in a year and no one owns a day. Uh, if you choose to have a show on Friday and someone also decided to do a show on Friday, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Uh, we, 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 we must just celebrate each other. That's everyone, uh, all the ships should sail. Oh really. yeah. There's, okay. there's no problem with it. Yes, it's competition, but I, I don't think anyone owns a date. 
you know, to a point yeah. that people should worry about having a show on the same date. Mm -hmm. Just market your show and you hope you get your audience and you hope the other person also has, has a good time as well. Yeah, yeah. Next question, let's talk about your up and coming events and uh, what is special. What is special about this event uh, that uh, people should actually come through and be part of the experience? Uh, we started the, uh, the Curia Live uh, events in 2011 and uh, according to me, it's the best show in Uganda. It's the best production. It's, yeah, <laughs> thank you. And I'm not saying that to be, to be funny or to be to put anyone else down but in my heart i do believe it's the greatest show that has ever happened in the history of ugandan music why we see so many uh foreign artists come here and we see grammys and bet and i believe the kiria live event has shown that even here in uganda we can produce the same events they do in america while we're doing it for ugandans yeah. and and i do believe if you go online and see what we do, we stand by that quality. Yes, and that's why you should come. How much, okay, okay, love. How much is the entrance and uh, who are you sharing stage with that day and why? Uh, we will have Kenneth Mugabe. Why? Y yeah. Uh, why, why Kenneth Mugabe? I'll give you this example. All right, uh, I'll break it down. Yeah. Kenneth is a good artist, he's a friend, and I think he represents a very progressive art form that's growing. Uh, we have Lulu from Malawi, Lulu uh, and Mafumela band uh, from Malawi. We have uh, Ibrahim Soli, who's a rapper and a singer, Solo. Uh, and we have Ali Deki. All these are great artists. And uh, yeah, so that's Ibrahim, Ali Deki, Lulu, and Kenneth Mugabe, and of course, yours truly. How can people get to uh, pre-order tickets yeah, ahead so of the event? Mm. And uh, on the D-Day, yeah. what time do the gates open? Right. And uh, yeah, let's do yeah, this. Yeah, so on uh, tickets, can I say this both in English and Luganda? Oh, yes. Yeah, so definitely if people go to www.quicket.co.ug, they can buy the tickets and they can pay with either MomoPay or Airtel or they can pay with a card. But also at the door, people can still pay either cash or they can use their card or the if they want to use MomoPay or Airtel money, it's all possible. So... <laughs> so I want to have a regular ticket by so again a quicket.co.ug. Yeah. Link in or so a dine committee in Bagano Jang, ku Instagram, to a bag in the Facebook or Twitter, a basolo bisangako. Yeah. So I'm going to website, or also looks at the Momo Pay, or Airtel, or also so called a card. Nay, now I want to have a Zekumian, or a sole quality, or such as either cash. The countdown is on later on after the breather. Morris return later on to take some of your questions. And I guess that is when we shall be, you know, getting into that bit of uh, uh, the question. You know, I look forward to it. Oh, Lydia Jasmine has just touched best. Those pictures coming in, uh, that's, those are live pictures. Caris of Davis on that camera. Uh, she's also in the building, has a brand new single, and will be joining us on set in the next uh, few minutes uh, from now. Lydia Jasmine has come a long way. I remember the year 2011, she just used to escort her cousin uh, for TV interviews like this. She was always in the, in, in the background. I think she was in senior fight you know and uh, at some point she was a backup vocalist for other artists you know now she is the artist you know so she will be uh, joining us later 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 on what do you love about Lydia Jasmine Morris she's beautiful ah, I have us <laughs> uh, DJ selector Ivan you're going to give us one one jam your favorite song by Morris Kiria you know as he gets into the break uh, when we come, oh, Maurice Curia, do you know Lydia Jasmine? Yeah. Nice. Then we shall be delving into that as well later on in the show. There is no vibe like, more like it. Let's go, Ivan. Let's go. Nenda kupaka sensi mbizirete Nera basabe mikisejo mujimba 
Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. You're still watching Uganda's number one live audience TV show. We are the pioneer live audience TV show. And if I'm not mistaken, we are the only live audience entertainment TV show in Uganda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we're that big. And we are broadcasting live on two TV channels. That is UBC TV Major. And of course, that is also Magic One HD. So if you're on and if you're rocking with us, you're rocking with excellence because we are all those things you've ever thought of. Finest TV show, uh, Flyest TV show, uh, Awesome TV host, uh, Flyest Vibers. We are all those things. <laughs> there is no vibe like Horizon Vibe. In a bit, let's read some messages off our socials. But are you guys ready for some jasmine? Yeah. I ready to smell some jasmine. Yeah. We're going to get into some of the messages, my social media team. Uh, let's uh, arrange that side so that I can uh, read a few of them as we still continue with the Horizon vibe. MC Sugar, do the needful as we get into that, that beat. Today, Hello. Papa Pate, yes. Fort Porto as well. I don't know how I had forgotten that, but people in Fort Porto, my brother Doug is down that side in one of the stadiums, so come through. Let's get into some socials right now. Come with me, 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 and we see who is on, who is rocking with us. Becky Vina, there is no vibe like Horizon vibe. Thank you for the show. We are streaming live out of Stone City, and I want to send my shout out to Secret Bay, Black Queen, Lolo Hearts, Grip King, Vivian, and to the Vibers, show some love, man. We have uh, Biba and Gaisa, MC Kamenyo. We are watching you live from Iba and the town, and we are sending regards to all the Vibers in the house. I see Robson K's. Hey, Vibers, Robson, watching you steady and ready. Larry Saiga is also on, watching us all the way from Nairobi, Kenya. They are locked on. Big up on yourself, Nairobi. I see Yang Wakawa is also on, tuned in from South Sudan, Juba City. They are rocking with Horizon Vibe. Show some love one time. I see Ahereza Anthens is also on. Uh, Crushed Heart, you're tuned in. 100% Viber, the handsome Calvin. Much love. He's watching us all the way, or she is watching us all the way from Risotto. Yeah? We, we, we are that global baby. There is uh, Trinomu Juni Onesmas from Isinjiro also rocking with us. I see Muswab watching us from Jinja. My people in uh, Yiganga, Kodeo, uh, Bamuna, Bababa, it's good knowing that you're also rocking with us. Ashifra Bay, I see you. Pleasant Plizok from uh, Kasese District tuned in. And you're watching, you're saying your phone is on fire. You're actually catching the show from your celly. So shout out and big upon yourself. I already did some bit of introduction for Lydia Jasmine. She is one of uh, the best female vocalists, hands down. I actually read uh, Jasmine among my top five female vocalists. Yeah, it's been a minute since she last came through on the show. I think we last had her here last year. She brings fashion, she brings style, she brings the vocals. Vibers in the building, get on your freaking feet, and we welcome Lydia and Jasmine. <laughs>
Conversation right about now. Lydia Jasmine, make some noise for Lydia Jasmine one time. Hi, addicts. <laughs> it's good How to you see guys? you. It's good to see you. Um, I'm I kind of have like a husky voice well, husky because voice? I'm having sleepless nights. Yeah. You know, with the promotion every day, I'm somewhere. Okay. So please deal with my voice. I hope they do understand. Lydia Jasmine, uh, joining us after probably a year. And uh, each time you come here, there is always something new that you're actually unveiling, uh, something new to share. Uh, you know, you had taken a long break from music. Was it intentional? What was going on? At first, it was. <laughs> At first, it was intentional. Then things got kind of out of hand. Yeah, it's a long story. But um, like I said, every day, I'm back and I'm going nowhere this time around. That's what matters, right? Yeah. You come back uh, after that break. You bounced back with uh, two or three songs, uh, the collaborative effort with uh, John, John Black, Black and yeah. uh, Nazaliwa. Nazaliwa, I love the chorus. Nazaliwa Kuama Masuma. Nazaliwa Kuyama Suka. Kawo. Yes. Uh, the song is called. Why did you call it Kuyama Suka? Okay, there is another one called Masuka. Masuka. Someone said, Lydia, you love Masuka. Hey. <laughs> huh? From Masuka to another Masuka here. I'm not like, yeah. What is it with you and I Masuka? I sing love, you know, so Masuka comforts us, right? That we become Masuka. Yeah. We're yeah. Masuka. Yeah. All of us need Masuka in our lives. Yeah. So, 
Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Now, um, music, people always have that fear of taking breaks from music. Yeah. Intentional or not intentional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, some fear that maybe if I take this break, by the time Coming I back bounce be back, hard. Uh, maybe it might be very hard for yeah, me. And it uh, people is. People could have moved on. Yeah. How have you, but it's not the case with you. you yeah. There is a way you've <laughs> stayed in people's faces, even when you are not releasing new music. music. But then you also had a backup of your old music. That's why I say I have the best fans in the world. See those guys? Yeah. <laughs> they are patient with me. They will always wait for me. They will always be there. And I'm so grateful for you guys. Everybody out there who loves Lydia Jasmine. They, I also don't understand because the truth is, you guys, you can't take a break of almost a year and you bounce back strong. Yeah. This industry is so competitive and people have music every day, new artists every day. So you really have to have a strong brand. I, th I think my brand is strong. I've built my brand over the years. Mm -hmm. I do good quality music, not just anything. So yeah. I think even the music I do, my music is, is music that can be there every day timeless. for years, timeless yeah. classics. So never mm. mm. my music my music So and I'm so grateful for that and I'm gonna be doing just that. Let me ask you, how are you able to keep these fans together? I've seen most of these groups as Imuzaba, but December fans the Bacharimu. But there's a way you, you, you've kept it together that uh, when you tell them that tomorrow I'm actually going to be on vibe. They are they are here on vibe. They are artists who tell they are fans that tomorrow I'm going to be on vibe and no one is bothered. I want to thank them. Honestly, I just I'm just favored. I'm just I think I'm just blessed. I don't give them anything. Yeah. They love me naturally and I thank that we have a very organized group. Lydia Jasmine Addicts are, are very organized. People, there are they're, they're people who run them. There are people, they, they have good leaders. They, ha they have teamwork. They are friends. Better get up and they love their artists, so they're always there for me, and I love them so much. Yeah. Thank you, guys. I read you as one of the best female vocalists. You're among my top five female vocalists oh, in this thank country. You. Thank you. I, I'm sure people who pay keen attention to vocals, uh, one singing ability, yeah. they agree with me on that. The trend has been, yes, people who are great vocally there, uh, uh, they are releasing music after music, so it's like more competitive, you know? Yeah, right uh, now. Yes, but uh, how do you feel as a star when you are not going back and forth, back and forth with everyone like it is with others? Back and forth? Yeah. Come again? When you're going back and forth with mm. music, mm. you know, with others who are releasing, because you see someone was telling me, on average, some artists may choose maybe to release four videos oh yeah, uh, a, a year. year. Others, they do three a year. Uh, uh, do, do, don't you think sometimes, you know, uh, there is that bit of demand yeah. or high expectations from the fans, <sighs> which is not balancing well? Yeah, and um, I, I think I'll talk on my, my own behalf. Yes, talk on your behalf. Um, I have a very, very big demand, and I've come to notice by the way, I've also just come to notice this year because I've been away. So I've seen what has been happening in the industry when I was away, how people were yearning to have me back, how they have received me back. And in my absence, how the industry was faring. I mean, with the vocalists, like you've said, I saw that I had a, there was a gap of my music and that is, that is rare and a blessing. You know, people have, yeah, like you said, vocalists are very many in this industry, yeah, and people have good music. But like I told you, Calvin, for me, my weapon is quality music. When you produce quality music, it doesn't matter how many. I can have two songs a year, by the way. I've had a song, even, uh, like, I think I said I had one song. But when I'm active, I, can, I could have even three songs a year. And it's all good. If they are really beautiful, and they will work out. They, when they work out, you even just need a hit. I you need a song or two if they're really good songs and you're good to go. But I think I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna do more music right now because I believe <laughs> so <laughs> I saw I, <laughs> I saw the complaints, I've seen the demands of the concert, I've seen so much albums and everything. And well, there's been that demand for the concert and yeah. they're like she's come of age, she and can deliver and uh, you know. 
and I think some of us were management sometimes people our fans don't know mm -hmm. sometimes mm -hmm. we're held back by management mm -hmm. they, 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 they they plan for you I mean they release what you what they want you to release yeah you don't have like a big say of what you want to release or how many songs you want to release or when you want to do your concert everything for example i should have had concerts years ago years ago you understand? but jasmine are you still so in that position because for me i was looking at you as more of a level headed independent artist that uh, calls shots at a certain you know to a certain you know level yeah, you right now. This is what I want now. Mm -hmm. This is what I want. And we've seen, you know, artists who are actually even doing that at an international level. As we speak, Sierra is not signed to any label. She's now an independent artist. But people are blown out by uh, her recent... And you know, she has album. music. Yeah, she has good yeah, music. She has good music you know? this year. And Haven't we reached there, Jasmine? I am. I mean, I've been independent since... To, uh, um, wait... I had, I've, uh, let me make this clear. I've yeah. only had two managers. Yeah. I've had Bushington and I've had Ronnie Mulindwa. Yeah. <coughs> I've not had anybody else. Like I've seen bloggers write, Tumanye, you went here, you went there, nowhere else. Mm -hmm. So Bushington was my first manager and we part in 2018. Yeah. And then I, myself, I, 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 I did the LJ Music. Mm -hmm. my own label okay and I, I started employing my own mm -hmm. people my own team okay. so i got that gentleman called ronnie molindra mm -hmm. the contract was three years mm -hmm. and that was up to last year i okay. guess okay something but now under ronnie molindra we were working together it was me yeah. and him not just the manager taking you everywhere they want without you mm -hmm. it's, it was a t more of a teamwork it was more of like working together yeah. and it was beautiful so right now i the contract was Good done, good and done. you know he got busy and everything. He's in the movies and mm. stuff like that. So now I have a very beautiful team. Mm. That's why people are asking me that. I I I I'm, I am actually stronger right now. Yeah. I I've seen it and I feel it is just the beginning, mm. but I can see it and I believe we are going to go really far. Yeah. I have a very amazing team, and I employ my people. Yeah, yeah. And I'm very independent with my LJ music, and we are going to do wonders. Yeah. I promise. Negotiations yeah. about that album, that international album. I had a chance <laughs> of listening to it and I was blown away. Uh, did those negotiations, negotiations. hit a dead end? What were, what what were the negotiations? <laughs> Me, I had, you know, Jasmine and uh, Bush at the time, you were sorting it out. Yeah. So that we have an album out, um. you know. Or you just gave up on that album, you're like, now no. new slate, new everything. Come on, you know the music I made for two years, I was in studio working on my album. How do that you, give, album, how do you guys, give up on work you've worked solid. For, for two years? Yeah. I mean, we patched in 2018 and he remained with everything. So what would I do? Bush. I, 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 no, 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 no. You, you no see, you we were working together and I somehow. have that, those songs. Hey. He was the manager and he, of course, he's good with the music, you know yeah. that? And mm. he would get the songs and the writers and stuff. And then we would work and pay this, the, the music studios yeah. and you know, stuff like that. Uh, for two solid years, I was in studio with Michael Fingers, mm. so many people, and the album is special. It was going to be called Soul on Fire. Yeah, Soul on Fire. Remember? Mm -hmm. There's a song on there called Soul on Fire. It's totally, if these guys heard it, it's a very different Jasmine mm -hmm. from the one you people see. It's not so much of a commercialized album. Mm. It's you'd find vibes as Tanawa Nakujawa no right mm. now, the mm. sound that, that was on that album. We took time, mm. but you know, Calvin, how I've managed this industry is I let things go. I'm still here. I still have the voice. I can still work. Mm. You know, I can still sing anytime. Why? You know, I'm not the kind that will go on social media and start shouting. Mm. <laughs> and start. I cannot. I cannot. No, mm -hmm. I can't. Mm -hmm. So we try to w to work that out in Chigana and I let it be. Actually every everybody in the media has had that album, but you could be demo volume. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know yeah, that. But, apart from but, to bang, um, but, yeah. but I mean I, I you cannot use that we put we put like I need that music that it will stop me because I don't have it. You, mm -hmm. You're not giving it to me. Mm -hmm. I will go ahead. Mm -hmm. That's simple. God got me and my fans got me and I got But, but let me ask you this question, Jazz. Uh are you hard to manage or it's them who are hard to deal with? Um, <laughs> you know why they ask me that question and I don't really want to give details. Because mm. if I give details, you'll be able to judge. 
Oh. And these are things I, I, I decided to, to you know, let Keep go. Sabi okela kona sidika. And I don't want to... to, to Mm. Because most of those things were sensitive, and I can promise you, yeah, it was it was nothing to do with money or with body. No, mm. not really, mm. not really. Mm. Not really. Mm. I'm not. Re- people know me. I'm the kindest person. I'm the coolest person you'll ever meet. So, oh yeah, yeah, it wasn't that. Nice, it's not that. Now, Jasmine, um, let's talk about these battles which are ongoing. Earlier on, we posed the question on whether it is a healthy competition yeah. for musicians to stage shows yeah. on the same day you've been in the industry long enough and uh this is like a new trend that is yeah. growing now uh that uh you know for me i see sometimes fans get divided you know sometimes people play it the wrong way marketing wise then uh, they start throwing you know uh shade, shade uh, at yeah. one another what are your thoughts as a creative about these battles First and foremost, to me, competition, healthy competition mm. is good. Healthy yeah. competition is good. In every industry, not just the music industry, yeah. there's always competition. But if it is healthy, it is not bad. Yeah. Now, for me, the problem I have with the Ugandan music industry, most mm. of these things are not healthy. Yeah. The battles, the the dates that they, the, the, competi- the competitive dates people choose. Why choose a concert on the same day? Yes. Two or three artists. We have s- 365 days in a year. We are not as much. 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 We concerts between artists more so artists who have now like for example the one we are having today um these are all great artists they can also i mean the only good thing today is they they have kind of like different audiences and stuff like that but still i wouldn't advise that i we, we could we could be united as artists and say tomorrow is lydia's day the other day is calvin's day the other day can be you know sheba's day the other day is ronnie's day we can we can all shine on our days why why compete on the same day I don't really, I don't like it so much. But hey, that's the. That's would the you go for? Would industry. you go for a music battle? Me, I, me, I I'm believe in you, and I think <laughs> uh, eh, 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 <laughs> I, I'll be somewhere. Team Jazz, Team Jazz, Team Jazz. And I is You know, I don't know. Okay, now this is the trend. This yeah. is where we are going. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, guys, you know, music, a music battle is a concert like any other concert. Like oh, yes. I said, if it is healthy, for a battle, if it is healthy. If it's healthy. Because I've seen battles even in the Western, All you right, know, Jazz, let me industry. drop like two names. Uh, if Karen Nantongo wanted a music <laughs> battle, would it be a tick oh or a no? God. Now, let me drop two <laughs> names so that she chooses, right? Really? Yeah. Yes, uh, <laughs> I, if Karen wanted a music battle, eh, I know she's also Karo. vocally capable, right? Okay, uh, if Karen wanted a battle, tick or no, let me drop another one, yeah? If Spice wanted a battle with jazz, yes or no? Yeah. <laughs> My fans. Oh, oh, but I, I start with fans. Let me start with fans. Come on. Karo or Spice, who can battle Jasmine? No one. <laughs> Caro or Jasmine, who can battle? Who, Caro or Spice, who can battle Jasmine? No one. Caro or Spice, Diana, who is the match for Jasmine? None. 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 Can I try another corner? Caro or Jasmine, who can fa- who who can who can try? Caro or Spice, who can try Jasmine? None. Yeah, I need a baby gezo. Caro or Spice, who can try Jasmine on a musical battle? Caro Casita. No, I said Caro Nantong. Oh, Muta Deo Casita. Eh? Bona, eh? Bona. Abagate Wamu. Abagate Wamu. Bona Mubateke Wamu. Babateke Kustedje Mubo na female artist. Na ya gende wali ya wali. Awe tutu se jazz. But then I'll bring back the question back to you. If it was for business purposes, and uh, Spice wanted a, a musical battle. Would you be but open for business? Um, listen, we are, first of all, we are different. The artists you have mentioned and me, we are so different. Brands in the music, we took a lot of So, 
But my fans have told you back with them the same. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's Vibe. I'm still here with Jasmine. Let's talk about the new song. Kawo. Uh, Kawo. Yeah. Who wrote this song? Song Boss. Song Boss. Yeah. I'm a song Boss is a very talented yeah. writer. Does Take us through the video money. process. Ivan, let's the have video the video on the screen. Live. Yeah. Ja live. Frank how hard or how Vera. easy was it? I see you in different outfits in this video. Yeah. Uh, was it a one day shoot, a two day shoot? Tell us, take us through Actually, uh, the dynamics of the by video. By the way, if you've worked with Frank, you know, even to have some we actually started, I think, uh, after lunch. Yeah. And we were done by around eight or something. So hey. that's Frank Mugera. That's it. There's no wasting time. You know. Kubanga have shot videos of like a day and two. Yeah. Whenever I work with Frank, it's chap chap. He, mm. he's, he's good at his at his thing. So it was a few hours actually. Could Frank be the best video director you've worked with so far? Um, I've worked with very many of them and they're all different. In so you yeah. you can never be the best in everything. Mm -hmm. you know, we all you know we all have our unique aspects. Oh yeah, different from each other. But he's amazing and he's one of the legendary. I think he's been oh in yeah. the game. Frank has been sometime. holding it down for he years. He knows what he does. He's yeah. mastered the game. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. yeah. My last uh, two questions. We're going to move faster, faster. How often do you change your hair? Because you see musicians, like every week I'm seeing a new hairstyle. Hair. You know, some yes. First we wear a wig so I can even change. Tonight I'll have another one. Hey. hey. Oh, that's, how, that's why it's very confusing. Yeah, you just yeah? don't throw on a wig. Because I don't have time to go to the saloon every day to make my hair. What is very the most busy. expensive wig you've ever worn, you've ever bought? Do I even remember now? I don't. Know. I've I've had all kinds of hair, so I don't know. I'm not sure. And most times we when Jasmine we travel, is dodging my question, right? We buy. Huh? We, you know, we buy. Huh? Okay, um, t this hair could go. Our hair is is, is expensive. So that, yes. I don't want to say. <laughs> Jasmine, like I me band to me to just for once. <laughs> hey. It's not the uh, most expensive I've had, but just ladies, know like how this much one is how much the the wig. This 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 could. For two million or three, I don't know. Two, three million. Two point five or two, yeah. That but is someone who's car. No, but <laughs> 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 <I'm> <laughs> no, but the thing. I'm a boda boda car. Eh? No, ladies, no. You'll ask them about Belanie wigs. They know this kind of human wigs and yeah, yeah. But wow. But now me, I'm a brand. I could not buy all the time. We have we are, we have people who give us hair. Yeah. And we influence for them. Yeah. Someone would give me hair to wear the hair and I would just, you know, make a video drop and they'd be mm. giving me hair. I maybe I pay a little money, not not like the exact amount. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, but that's it. That's that's the price. Yeah, yeah, that's the yeah. pricing. That's the range. Jasmine, my last question, what kind of guys are you into? Are you into um you know, men also also appear in all sizes, right? Uh they are the slim slim flavors. Uh, all, all, all flavors, <laughs> you know. Are you into giants? Are you into uh, I MC Sugar? Who said you know? that? <laughs> eh? uh, yeah, Slim, you know. Slim Ivan here. Uh, are you into the chubby, 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 uh, you know? Chubby. <laughs> eh, 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 eh? Ah, this is funny. The question, I didn't expect this. Question. Oh, yes, we are. Uh, so men have flavors. Eh? Eh, oh, yes. Oh, okay. For me, let me be realistic. Yes. Love is love, period. Huh? You don't know. You but don't but know just been and playing safe. Just been and playing safe. I am telling because I, I'm realistic. I don't want to come here and just say something to just make people laugh. I'm being realistic. Yeah. Am I lying? You will find someone who says, "Oh my, I want, I want a tall guy, uh, black, or oh, blah blah." And then you find them after two years married to a very short guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. And very brown. You understand? So it's all about love. You uh, never know who you're gonna. Fall, fall. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can only hope. Oh, for one the last best. one, then we get into another bit of the show. Do you have, have you ever had a celebrity crush? Do you have a celebrity crush? I mean, generally. Or generally, you know. The whole world? Yes. Of course. Oh, come on. We, so all, okay, one, we, one, all, one. we all have. Uh, the boys uh, are being like this. One, 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 one. Violence. Eh? <laughs> eh, 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 eh. Chigwane. <laughs> hey, one, no. International, I mean, to soke wano loko, soke loko loko wano. Ah, come on, 
time when I'm a, I'm a lady, I'm a girl, and and oh, I'm yeah. in this industry. I've met amazing artists. Of course, I I I, I I've had a crush, or probably I've dated one, oh, yeah. you know, or two. Oh so yeah. That's it. Let's do this right now. Jasmine is still right here with us. We're going to have a short musical breather. Maurice Kiria joins us on set. And of course, shall be delving into your question. But as we await that, Selector Ivan, give us that music. We get into a Chikoko moment. We pose the question earlier on. Earlier on, we pose the question. Um, oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's go. Select I'm la voli da gala ya mutsuza. Omo ngono mu bine no bifunza. Mama. Baba kumari enzana kukonda. Everybody get on your feet, let's officially with some hugs here. We, we can't hear the conversation, but yeah. Maurice Kiria and Lydia Jasmine. Yeah, please take take your seats. Yes, catch up. As I also now get into our Chikoko moment. Select Ivan, give me that song uh, that we played earlier on on our video trivia. If you can give me that song one more time so that we can make sense of uh, the question that I'm about to pose for the second time. Ivan. You ready? Hit me. Girls, how you feeling, baby girl? Great. What's your name? Perfect. Are you in the vibe? Nice. We do ask a very simple question, and this question could uh, could win yourself something: a ticket, a VIP ticket to Navio's concert happening tonight. We're giving out one to a super viber who can give us the right answer. Not only that, that's not all. We also giving you lunch for two. You and your girlfriend, or you and your boyfriend, uh, courtesy of uh, have a chicken and coffee. The question that we are posing, give us three other songs by any of those two artists. Three other songs from any of those two artists. 
You can do this in two ways. Do this in two ways. Send us uh, a message that is uh, at Calvin the Entertainer or on UBC TV Uganda or on Magic One. Slide in those DMs with the answer. You'll be able to win yourself something. Or you is in the auditorium. You can choose to crack it right about now and be our winner. Do I have someone here? Somebody here? Okay, I have one there awaiting. There's another lady there that makes them two. Lady, come close. Dude, come close. Somewhere around here. And we shall be uh, finding out if indeed you are our lucky winners. Now, to be part of the show, you can also do the same if you want to be part of our next edition. Uh, that is, uh, send us a message. Uh, of course, that is on Calvin at entertainer.ug or you can log on to my website www.calvintheentertainer.com. As simple as that. Let's get into something else as we wait for those uh, questions uh, with the responses in a bit. I'll switch microphone and uh, stick to the one, uh, the, the, this uh, lapel, and give Fred this other one. Fred, welcome back. Man, it's been a minute. Yeah, thank you. Uh, what do we have for our winner today, far as the video trivia is concerned? I think uh, our winner will get uh, a six pack. A six pack, I mean six pieces of chicken, chip salad, and uh, soda. So there you have it. So any of those two people uh, stand a chance uh, to win lunch and uh, a ticket uh, for Navio's concert, which is happening today at a Sheraton. Okay? Now, um. I have a chicken and coffee. What is on the menu today? I see some pizza situation going on. Is it pizza or pizza? Or it depends on the schools you attended? It depends. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we shall go with whatever. So has the uh, usual. What's on the menu today? I see this. A uh, heavy yeah. one. Yeah. So this is heavy chicken and the coffee. Yeah. Much in the opposite calendar. Yeah. So give us a menu breakdown. Today I'm seeing a lot going on. Yeah. Uh, this is like a triple threat, three yeah. chicken. Yeah. So uh, on today's menu, we are having a whole chicken, but uh, on Olsenia like uh, this. Yeah. So this can cover how many people? This can cover, this can cover like uh, three people. Uh, yeah. These girls that you ask out on a date and she comes with a plus one, this can have <laughs> them sorted. Eh? Yeah, so uh, this is a uh, Lusania for whole chicken. They are three pieces plus her pizza as usual. What is so special about this package? So uh, this package, uh, for those who want to enjoy the heavy meals. Yeah. Uh -huh. So it is hollow chicken, comes, uh, comes uh, along with potato wedges. We have the plantain uh, with the simosimo and the honey. Okay. Then we have the chips and we have the, the, the potato wedges. Okay. So it is a hollow chicken, but they are different. So, so this, this, one, this goes for how much? This goes for only 120. Uh, Uganda. No, if if we want one whole chicken, it is mitwali with chips, salads, and a free soda. Eh, but then you look for Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 This one is a barbecue chicken. Yeah. A barbecue, it is a term which means uh, cooking uh, with the live fire and the smoke. And smoke. That is barbecue. So this then is the a barbecue pizza? chicken. This is a honey glazed chicken uh, with simu simu. This is barbecue chicken. Barbecue chicken. chicken. Uh -huh. Then this is honey glazed chicken with simu simu. And th this is honey glazed. Yes. Interesting. So yeah. how can people access the menu? So our menu, uh, you told me to break it down in the menu. We have the we have the breakfast. Yeah. Then lunch we have the chicken in uh, different yeah. styles. O okay. So, uh, this one, uh, chicken is different. All the continental dishes, which you want to get to Korea, and get to go to Ghana, and come here, and cook, or pizza, burichimu, or even chicken, to China, match in the opposite calendar. If you want to access our menu, uh, I'm going to give out the WhatsApp number. Just uh, save the number. You write a message. You will get a, an automatic ring, which will take you to the menu so that you can view whatever we cook whatever we prepare and the prices 
So pizza, you buy one and you get another one free. That one learns Monday to Monday. So it is a promotion which learns every day. Number is 0776 432163. Yeah, offers, uh, we still have the heavy basket, eight pieces of chicken uh, with a free soda. We have the six pack. Then you have the pizza, which lands every day. Buy one, get one free every day. Then delivery, you can go to Jumia or Grovo app, or you can call or direct on 077-0776-43-2163. Same on WhatsApp. Yeah, and also bagger promotion, Monday and the Tuesday. Buy one, get one. And that wraps up our Chikoko moment. We're going to get into the question that we posed earlier on so that we can establish our winner today. I have uh, two people here who are up for the challenge. I have uh, a lady here and this dude on the this side. Three songs from any of the stars, you know, whose song we played. Major song, the rural. Okay. Uh, there is Galibi Baby, Savage Love. Gentlemen, Bayari, there is color, body, and family, and for Jason Zero, there is not war, savage love, and Acapulco. The man knows his music. Uh, how, how do we do this? Okay, we're going to do this th like this. You get lunch for two, okay? You and him. Have a chicken and coffee. Show them some love. Yes. Then after, you can even exchange numbers, get to know each other. You, you get you can take things far. That's not all. I'm giving you two tickets. You get one VIP ticket to Navio's concert tonight. I also give you one VIP ticket. Go represent the Vibers tonight. You understand? Nice, nice, nice. I didn't get anyone to sample the pizza. Akelo, you don't want to come and sample the pizza. Yeah? Akelo told me he's a big fan of Maurice Kirian, a big fan of Lydia Jasmine. Akelo, come and sample the pizza here, then we get into... So come close. Come, come, c come here. <laughs> there are guys you don't get to see on the screen. Some of them are always in the background. Akelo. Get some pi get, get some pizza, Akelo. Yes. Yes. Show some love for Akelo. Nice. Okay, Linda, you can handle the rest uh, as we continue with the Horizon vibe. We're here every single Saturday. We believe there are so many shows that run at this time, but they've got nothing on us. They've got nothing on us, my brother, because none of them vibes like us. We are the vibe. We are awesome. We are the best. We are all those things we've ever thought of. Anything that defines quality, anything that defines excellence is what we are about. There is no vibe like... Now listen and listen real good. We're getting into another moment, another segment, another Kanyomero. And that is when we, they ask the questions. The stars get to respond. They say, ladies, first, Jasmine, are you ready for the questions? My brother, Maurice Kiria, are you ready for the questions? Ready and steady. MC Sugar, you'll take us through that bit of the show. I'll go chill on the other side. As the questions are popping, yeah? Select Ivan, give us some music to set the pace as uh, the questions roll. Sugar, let's go. All right, thank you so much. Uh, I think I'll find a question that will cut across. I know every star has a moment in their life, either while performing or probably addressing issues publicly, and you get nervous. Do you mind sharing how it felt or how did you handle the nerve? Maurice. Uh, we say ladies first. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll answer the how, how do I handle the nerve. Yeah. Um, I think over time you get used to the thing. Now for me, I've been in the industry since 2014. Definitely the way I'll, 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 I'll attack different situations is in the beginning is different from how I do right now. Over time, you get used. I, I mean, with the experience, I can, I can, I can, I can bear just any situation. Do you understand? Yeah, because this is a passion. Music is my passion. It's my career. Everything. So there's nothing I wouldn't do. Do you understand? 
there's nothing that can stop me and there's nothing that I will do. And running. Go. <laughs> yeah. uh, on, on my side, I would say that um, I'm a human being. So every now and then the human element comes in. One minute I'm very confident, the other minute I'm just nervous. Yeah. So when I'm answering questions, anything can come. Like there's times an, a, a journalist will ask you something and you know that you shouldn't answer it because if you do, it might be taken the wrong way. But then you're human and sometimes you say something and it's taken out of context. And as, a, as celebrities, when we do interviews, we stand a chance of being misinterpreted or misrepresented and obviously that could be the end of your career or that could cause so many things so before we are what we do we are human beings so we're always nervous in a bit maurice kiria will be firing lydia jasmine a question and uh, jasmine will also be doing the same but uh, as the as each one of them thinks through uh, the perfect question let's take one from the audience as we await that Okay, okay, okay. All right. Uh, my question will go to Maurice. Maurice. Uh, Brad, you go, okay, What? 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 What's? Okay, okay, my question like. Maurice, you show me the most I want to get jammed. Okay, okay, okay. Maurice, why? Like you've been in the industry for a couple of years. But I just could do something. Okay, okay. My question is still tomorrow, so. I was asking Maurice, uh, I get to know about you a long, long time, and you one of those musicians that we hope they take this Ugandan music industry to that international level because because of it. I, I think you need to come this side so that we can hear you audibly. You seem to be having a connection problem, something that is uh, interfering. Uh, with a signal yeah. yes so maurice I, I, I hope you ha you have heard your words i've said but just to to conclude like maurice do you think you're one of those guys who can really help us put this to that international level we want this ugandan music industry because they talked of apas we don't understand maurice and that and why not call out, call out all right all right we've got your question yeah let's leave it to that Thank you for your question. I didn't get your name, though. What's your name? My name is Christopher Mille. Seem to be having uh, an issue with my.
speech, but that doesn't stop us from vibing, right? Yeah. Cool. So we proceed and we get to wrap up the final bit of the show. Uh, I don't know whether Morris was able to capture that question that came from Christian Homily. Yeah? Crystal Homily, if you can bring uh, the question back one more time, we shall stick to this uh, mic and uh, we get this wrapped up. Okay, let me cut it short. Like, Morris, you're one of those artists in Uganda that you see as an international icon. Like, wh why are we not making it to that level? International? Yeah, international. And, and how can you help us? Do this. Get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been asking Morris this question since way long, uh, right? And, and why, so, why less collaboration with our local musicians? Let me take another question so that we wrap up this side at once. Uh, thank you very much. My question goes to Morris Kia. Uh, your music is a typical reflection of our culture, Uganda, and heritage. And uh, there is a country I've been to, I was to last year. And uh, these people were asking, how come that Morris Kia is not being you know, considered as uh, an ambassador of tourism? Because you've uh, lifted our, our Ugandan flag out there. So what do you think are the considerations that the Uganda Tourism Board should be considering for making one uh, an ambassador of tourism? Thank you. Nice. As we, I will take only one more question for Lydia Jasmine. As uh, Maurice responds to those, uh, the set of those two questions, then we shall take one from, for Jazz. And later on, our two tickets to Maurice Curia's concert, so he will be uh, giving us that question as well. Thank you for your question about uh, the international market. Thank you for your concern as well as uh, an adamant music fan. Thank you very much. I think every artist is doing what they need to do uh, to give you guys the great music. But um, the international market is the international market. We get there when we can. We do what we do. But I think fans and Ugandans uh, uh, and, and all Ugandans should focus more on the artists they have rather than where else they can be hired. If, if the music is nice for you uh, here in Uganda, celebrate your artists because you have them in your country. You don't need to celebrate us after we've made us internationally. We are here singing for you in your language and we are your jewels. We are your wealth. We are your artists. Our, our success as Ugandan musicians is not decided by the Western world. Our success is decided by the people that we have home, you, the fans, that you know that we are Ugandan and we're here and we're giving you good music. And I think that should be the most important thing. Niceness. So, the follow-up question. Yeah, uh, I hope I answered you well. Uh, actually, there's a lot of collaborations. But I guess perhaps as a fan, you might want to see certain particular collaborations. Yeah, most definitely. Why not? Why With not? Lydia. But, <laughs> but here's the thing. Uh, to answer your question, I, I, don't, I didn't get your name. Sorry. Parliament. Uh, you mentioned that in other countries, people have wondered why is in Maurice Curia uh, an ambassador for tourism. The fact that they are mentioning that already makes me an ambassador for Uganda. So I've traveled uh, with my band, actually, to over 35 countries. I've been doing this for 23 years. And the fact that you go to a country and they say, Maurice Kiria, I think that's good enough. When I started singing, I, I did it because I loved it, because I wanted to inspire people, but also because I wanted something positive for my country to be seen through me. And um, about being an ambassador, I think I already am. You believe now? Thank you. So, Maurice Curia gets to ask Lydia Jasmine a question, and uh, Jasmine will also do the same. I'll pass the microphone to Jazz. We'll start with Jazz. Ladies, the first day we enter heaven, the first. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting prepared for yeah. the question. Yeah. <laughs> just one question, or it can be two. She's asking just one. Njagala more questions. Njagala ebi wozo vya ngavi na. Okay. Um. First things first. Yeah. I want to ask Morris because, because I'm going to ask everything yeah. from um, the reality side of of what I've said <laughs> about him. Do you prefer a, a brown skinned girl or a melanin queen? Oh, yeah. 
That's number one. <laughs> number two. <laughs> What's his favorite song of mine? Because I, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I want to know his favorite song of mine. Because I saw a video where he said he's not really familiar with my music. So, I, <laughs> so I guess by, by now, if he is, I want to know his favorite. The last one would be um, who is his pretty crush in Uganda. Oh. Three questions. <laughs> All right. Um, I'll answer her questions first. Uh, you asked. Hey, uh, chilongena chiza mu Uganda. Zengo umuntu umutima kwangi munene nyo. Gwanjovu. Buli mchala nda wikila buronji. Nga lidia Jasmine Womu laba. That's why I said, who do you prefer? I didn't say. You understand? If, if it is 100%, where is the 70-30? Um, the 70-30 is that um, either I'm a greedy man because I like all. So I would go with obviously. I'm a lover. I'm a lover. So anyone that I fall for, I fall for. I, I'm, I'm very emotional. When I fall in love, it doesn't matter what color I fall for you. Number two, the song. Morris, Morris, response is as confusing as his talkings. He's, 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 he's having red and yellow. All that right. is how confusing they are. <laughs> Number two, uh, Lydia Abuzi is a remember children sing Oko Agalola Lydia Jasmine. Emma Bekakao, uh, Nabuzi Wechibuzo, uh, which was uh, misinterpreted uh, by the media. Lydia and I have known each other for so long, for so long. One thing I'm still amazed that you still look the same, beautiful as ever. So, and um, and I remember when I remember the songs. The one that has always stuck out for me was the first song that was, I don't know if it was the hit, but the song called Drum. Drum. For me, that's my favorite song of yours. Yeah. And, uh, and, and the video too was amazing. I don't know who shot it. But I think one time someone asked me uh, if I knew your songs. And I said, I'm not familiar with the new songs. Uh, I have an album that came out uh, last year. I don't need any forgiveness. <laughs> um, I had an album that came out recently. And I'm pretty sure that some of my closest people might not even know some of the songs on there. It happens. And, uh, and when they asked me, I told them, Lydia's my friend. And um, I like Lydia. And every time we've met up, we've really got along. But unfortunately, the way our business works, uh, when you pay more attention to, to one side, you miss the other side. And that's, that's where, as a country, we get distracted. Yeah, yeah. When you see me uh, here and Lydia, all you see is love. You see us talking to each other. You see us enjoying each other. Oh, yeah. But we should, not, we should not forget to be human and focus on love rather than hate. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, the last question. I can you about the Your celebrity crush. <laughs> in UG. In UG. UG. Yeah. Be specific. I've noticed how he answers the questions like I do it. Yeah. Like oh this. Yeah. I want oh you yeah. straight to the oh point. Yeah. Forget it. Yeah. It's okay. Uh, He's a man. I mean, he could have five. He could have. Yeah. It. Could have yeah. it. Could have yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, no, we are here. 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 <laughs> but uh, but before before we go any further, I want to appreciate you for what you've done in the industry as an artist, and so and much. and I want to say this. I've said it on every interview. You're quite a gorgeous, beautiful lady. Thank you so much, Iris. I come on, guys. Who doesn't love Maurice Kia? Now questions from me to you. When you sing, listen. Let me also appreciate you. Oh, I'm, I've been a fan since day one. You know that. Thank you. Yeah, you know that very well. I, I, I love your voice. I love your music. 
Maurice, Maurice, me and Maurice met years back. People don't know, and we're cool. That's what I want people to know. We're cool. We are very cool. Yeah, and we'll definitely go and support Maurice Kilia, please, guys. Yeah. yeah. Matter of fact, it would be nice to see you at the show on Please Friday. Ca- I will come. Lovely. Yeah. I will come. I'll be there. I, yeah. I so come. questions for you. Y- yeah. Please be kind. I will be kind. Yeah. I am kind. Yeah. When when is Lydia Jasmine going to give us a concert? Okay. That's question number one. Question number two. What's your favorite Maurice Curie song? And number three. Who's your favorite? Celebrity crush. <laughs> okay. Um, the first, the first question is, I'm, I'm having my first ever maiden concert next year, early next year. Thank you for that. For, thank you for that question. I need my fans to know. It's been a long time. I've never had one, so we're having one. At least, at least around Feb March, we're gonna have one. So I promise. Thank you very much. Number two it was playing. I told him when the song was playing. Yeah. I've never been loved before. I gave you love like you've never been loved before. Thank I you. love that song. I'll, I'll, I'll die to do the remix. I love it. Thank you. Oh my God, the vocals, everything. Thank I you. love it. And, um, Celebrity crush. Celebrity crush. <laughs> but you know, I also have a big heart. Eh? I have a big heart. I have a big heart like him, just like him. So I can't. Um, go straight where? <laughs> I, j- I just, I appreciate any, I appreciate a, just anybody that looks great and smells great and just like Maurice, just like. <laughs> that Bluetooth is connecting, connecting. Ah, uh, the Bluetooth is connecting, connecting. Man, time, our time is fast spent. Uh, Maurice Curia has a concert that is, uh, after next week. It's, it's next week. Actually. It's actually next week. Yeah? So, Maurice is posing a question. If you can give us the right answer, you get to win yourself a ticket to the concert. All right. Um, what would that question be? Uh, who wants to take the question? You. Um, do you know any artists that are going to perform at the Kiria Live event on Friday? Yep. Come close. Come close. Come close. If you know the answer, you get a ticket to come, come close. Watch the show. Kenneth Mugabe. He wins himself a ticket. He will get a ticket. All right. So we now want a lady. You say it too? And a lady. So I need a lady. A lady. A lady. Before you cross to socials. A lady. The ladies are shy. Ladies are, are shy. Oh. Come here, baby girl. Come, 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 come. Come. Over here, over here. Do the catwalk. Over here. Over here. Come here. Yes. You're safe with us. What's your name? Cabrin. Cabrin. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Oh. You're very nervous. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'm always nervous. It's okay. You get a ticket. I'll see you Friday. Just like that. Ma- Ma- Morris is that generous with the ladies. Lydia Jasmine, let me also get a hug at least. Afazan. Bluetooth are connecting the other side. Morris is here, you know. Morris, you can also get a hug. Hey. You, you know. We have to wrap up the show. We are wrapping up with final remarks from Maurice and then a remarks from Jasmine. I hope you guys had a wonderful show. 
right? And it's nice to be here with you guys and I hope you come to the show on Friday, the 8th of September. Mwebali Kuwagira, Mwebali Kuwagira Lydia, Mwebali Kuwagira Moriski. There's many artists that are doing shows uh, today. Nabio is doing a show there. Go there. Uh, many more artists are going to be having shows. Yeah. We love you all, guys, and we can't do this without you guys. Thank you. LJ. As always, I want to say thank you, my fans, for being patient with me, for supporting me, so for being loyal. You have the most amazing loyal fans ever. I love you. Calvin, for always supporting the industry down. This is one, one of the, if not the first presenter I ever worked with on TV. Thank you. Coming up. I'll never forget that. Thank you for loving Ugandan music, you push Ugandan music, UPC, Horizon vibe, you guys are vibe. It has, it has never changed from day one. Oh, yeah. Same vibe. So, um, please, guys, my last remarks is Morris. Me and Morris are cool. Please don't stop with, with the propaganda and everything. Come and support him. Con -con Serena, stories. On Friday, I will be there. I will be there to support. So, if you love Jasmine, support Morris. Friday, yeah? and yeah. every artist, like you said today, we have two different. Uh, we have Gravity, we have Navio. Please go and support them. And um, Kawo, out, stream it, stream it, it's out yeah. everywhere. I love you so much. Yeah, love yeah, you. yeah. God bless. You. And that brings us to the end of today's broadcast. Ngalo. <laughs> there are a number of events happening tonight from Navio's 20 years celebrations uh, to Gravito Mutu Juzo Kwepi Chat, Lugogo Cricket Oval. Uh, Pompey is also in town. The event is already on. Uh, that is at uh, Kololo. Yeah. Uh, then away from that, away from that, uh, there is also. It's at, at what? Yeah. Uh, at cricket hockey grounds. Oh yes, Pompey is at uh, hockey. Uh, oh, there is a uh, step. Steps is happening at hockey grounds today. Uh, those in Fort Porto, Douglas is there with a team of Purple Party. That side, uh, come through and support. Uh, where are you playing tonight, Selector Ivan? As usual, Climax, then Club Ambia Scampala. Tonight, TikTok night. You heard that, man. That brings us to the end of this broadcast. We touch best next week, same time. Sam Captain, Spin Your Sully, Awesome Calvin, the Entertainer. See you when you see me next week. Peace and love. Adios, Kwaheri. <laughs>